Let's take a look at our take on the Airsoft chronograph and you can already tell that we went with something quite unique on the market considering the price point and the form factor. We wanted a chrono that is basically meant for everyone, be it the price point, the size and functionality and I think we achieved that. It basically fits in your pocket if you would really want to. It does actually fit. It does everything you need it to do. Solid build quality with aluminum plates and the price point is also there in my opinion. So that's what you need to know about it. And now I want to show you how to use it. Here we have the SSR 77A2 with 0.32 gram BBs. Before we start shooting, let's set up the chrono uh, accordingly. To turn the chrono on, we just press and hold the power button and once it boots, we will be in the measuring screen already. So if I would be using 0.25 gram BBs, I can just take it, I can shoot through this side, away from the buttons, from this side into something and it would start measuring. But we need to change the weight, so let's do that real quick. To change the BB weight, we just press one of these buttons that will get us to the menu. We have select ammo, shot history, units, battery level, backlight, auto power off and reset. The most important thing is the select ammo, that's what we are interested in. I'm gonna select that with the power button and here I can set my weights. As we can see everything is already pre-selected, the most common weights are already there, so what we need to do is to select this one, 0.32, with the power button now there is a little arrow next to it, hope you can see it. And now we can start measuring by going back to exit. And we press up and we can start measuring our uh, SSR 77. Like I said, we will shoot through this side first and then the buttons will be on the exit. I have a thick BB trap on my left, so I'm gonna do it in a little funny way so you can actually see it on the camera. You please make sure that whenever you shoot it's pointing in the safe direction and there is something to catch the BBs. No screens, no people and also mind your fingers. It is a compact package, it's very easy to put your finger in front of the hole and then you shoot yourself in the finger. That's not what you want. Let's do it somehow reasonable so you can see. All right, there we go. Now we can start measuring. And as you can see, it's picking up every single shot. We set it aside. Here you have all the important information that we airsofters need. So we double check that the weight is correct because otherwise the measurements wouldn't reflect the power of the rifle. We have six millimeter BB. Yes, that's correct. Velocity, we have meters per second. You can also change that into FPS if you want to do so in the menu. We have fire rate. I was firing semi only, so there is no fire rate to be measured. But if you would put it in full auto, you can also get fire rate. And we have finally the energy, which is uh, probably the most important factor that you want to know. That is the energy 1.46 joules. Now, if I want to go into the history and see the whole um, shot count, I can go into shot history, select that and here it gives me the values that I just shot and I can compare, you know, the deviation for example, if that's what you are looking for. Now again here I can change the units from metric to imperial. I'm not gonna do that, <laughs> but you certainly can. Battery level, almost fully charged. It will also show you uh, the battery when you are powering it off, so you always no uh, without actually actively checking it. We will see that when I turn it off. Uh, backlight, I can also change the backlight um, on, off or auto. I see no reason to um, putting it on off or auto unless you want to really save the battery. Uh, you can do that. I'm just gonna leave it on. on. Uh, auto power off, that's a handy feature. You can change from you know, one minute up to 30 minutes. The best would probably be to keep it between one and five minutes uh, unless you have a specific need just to you know, not make it a drain battery if you forget to uh, turn it off. And you can also reset the whole thing. For example, if you change uh, all the BB weights to something 
different and you just want to go back to the list that we pre-selected for the most common ones, you can just reset the whole thing and it will be like you uh, took it out of the box. Now the last thing I want to show you is how to actually change the BB weights. So let's say position number one, we want to change it to 0.23 because we don't use 0.20s ever. 23 maybe for some pistols. All right, I'm gonna scroll to the 01 and now I'm gonna um, list through it with the power button. I'm gonna press it twice and now you can see that I can change the BB weight. It highlighted the BB weight and I can go up 0.23. I can also change the caliber if I wanted to. I'm gonna leave it at six millimeter. Just gonna uh, go back to the selection of the 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03 and so on. Now I can go back to exit and now my first position will be 0 0.23 grams as you can see right here because we just selected it. Now it will also recalculate the last shot that we shot with 0 0.32s to the selected uh, weight. So if you are measuring and you shoot and then you figure out oh then I selected the wrong BB weight, you can just switch and it will already show you uh, the measurement so you don't need to shoot again. However, I would uh, recommend to confirm it with the correct weight just to be sure, fire at least five and check if that was a like a flyer or something. That's it for the compact chrono. Uh, it is in my opinion a unique one, especially because of its size and the form factor. It does everything we airsofters needed to do and the price point is nice in my opinion as well. So if you are in the market for one, this might be a good option. Oh yeah, let's turn it off and show you the battery as well. So there we go, turning it off shows you the battery as a goodbye. So we always don't forget to charge it.